everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex. Today's look is an Instagram inspired makeup tutorial. Um, it's largely based on this picture that I found on Pinterest. In my opinion, most Instagram photos have the same sort of dewy highlighted look, matte eyeshadow, eyebrows on fleek, plump lips. This is what the makeup looks like up close. So if you want to see how I did this look, then just keep on watching. I am starting off with a pore minimizing primer and this is by Benefit. Now I'm applying that on my cheeks and in my T-zone. To get that flawless skin, I'm taking a very high coverage foundation. This one is by e.l.f. It's the Acne Fighting Foundation. And I'm just going to blend that in with my finger and then blend it all out with a damp beauty blender. And I'm also taking this down my neck so everything is the same color. I'm taking the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in the color medium 26 to conceal under my eyes and any blemishes that I have. To highlight my face, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in a light shade and I'm applying this under my eyes, on my T-zone, and on top of my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to be blending all of this out with a beauty blender. I'm taking the loose translucent setting powder by Laura Mercier with my beauty blender, blender and I'm going to be baking my face with this so I'm just going to set this on top of the places where I put the concealer and then I'm going to do my brows with the Anastasia brow pomade and this is in the color soft brown. So I'm starting off by carving out the bottom part of my eyebrow and then doing the same thing on top and then I'm just going to be smudging it into the meaty section of my eyebrows and then I'm just going to fill in any sparse areas and brush everything out with a spoolie and that's all you need to do to get your eyebrows on fleek you could do the concealer thing but I didn't think I'd need it since I just plucked my eyebrows so they look pretty neat pretty neat so now I am just dusting off the baking powder off of my face Holla to the chickens in the background. What's up, chickens? Now I'm taking this foundation palette in the color Medium Dark by e.l.f. And I'm using this to contour my face. I'm taking the second lightest shade and I'm just going to buff that into my cheekbones with the small stipple brush by e.l.f. And I'm also going to apply this in the temple area and on my nose. to be priming my lids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm also going to be applying this on the lower lash line for the eyeshadows that we'll be putting on there. I'm going to be dipping a fluffy brush into some face powder and put that over my eyes to blend everything better. Then I'm going into my 28 Neutral Palette by Coastal Scents. I'm taking a light dusty rose color and I'm applying that onto my crease. I'm blending it upwards. After that, we're going in with a darker, sort of dusty lilac 
violet. We're going to go into the lower crease with that, right under where we put the previous color. And then you want to go in with a flat shader brush, a Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. And I'm taking a gold color and put that all over the lid. You're going to want to take another crease brush, something like this. And then I'm taking a dark brown color. I'm going to apply this onto the crease. You can just go back in with your brush with nothing on it and blend it out. Just to add a little bit of definition. And then I'm going in with a pencil brush like this. And I'm taking a really dark brown color. Make sure to tap off the excess. And then I'm just going to apply this into the outer V as well as the lower lash line, so sort of in the outer third of the lid. And then I'm going to blend it out with the brush and add some more, then blend it out, make sure everything is even. And then take a flat shader brush, a clean one, a matte highlighter color, and I'm applying that under the brow bone. I'm taking this NYX pencil and I'm applying that on the waterline as well as the inner corner and then blend it out with my finger. I'm going back in with the 28 neutral palette and I'm taking the lightest white shade and I'm putting that in the inner corner over the NYX pencil. And for the lower lash line I'm taking the same shadows that I used on the upper lid and I'm just gonna blend everything together and then I'm taking the darkest brown and I'm using that to line my lower lash line. Eyeliner, I'm using this Nishido waterproof eyeliner. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. The lashes I'm using are Demi Wispies by Ardell. Now I'm going to be bronzing up my face with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I'm applying this on my cheekbones, on my temples, and on my jawline. And then now I'm going to be mattifying my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm applying this on the center of my face where I highlighted. And then I'm taking the Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm going to be chiseling out my cheekbones. For this I'm using the e.l.f. Contour Brush which I am so in love with. It works wonders. It really does the job. And then now I'm going to be taking a smaller brush and I'm taking that same color and I'm going to be contouring my nose and also I'm going to be putting this under my lip to give it a more pouty look. And then for blush I'm taking MAC Mocha and I'm applying that onto my cheeks with the same brush I used to bronze. And no Instagram look will be complete without highlight. I'm taking Soft and Gentle by MAC and I'm applying that onto the high points of my cheeks, the bridge of my nose. Um, I also put this on my cupid's bow but I didn't I think I lost the clip, so. And then for lips, I'm lining my lips with NYX Natural Lip Liner, and I'm slightly overdrawing my lips, especially at the corners, and then I'm just gonna be filling it in a little bit. And then for lipstick, I'm using Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in the color Lolita, and I'm just going to be applying that all over my lips. And the makeup look is complete. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.